water and whirl. In just a few years, the sport of water skiing has grown like a giant. It attracts more than 8 million persons all over the world. And 10 years from now, you can expect twice that many. The French claim that Baron Pulaski began it. But Americans credit Fred Waller, a Paramount News cameraman of Huntington, Long Island, who in the 1920s got the bright idea of cutting an aquaplane in half. Waller called his invention aqua skis. He probably was the first to get on these things. And the first to fall off. Since then, things have moved fast. Now, speed makes the sport. At 35 miles an hour, you can actually ski on bare feet, though only a few like Buster McCalla can do it backwards. Let's start with the present water skiing champions of the world. Barbara Cooper Clack and Roland Hillier, both of them Floridians, and both attached to Cypress Gardens, the famous water ski capital. They excel in the sport's three big events. One of these is the slalom. A boat pulls you 315 yards down the middle of a track as you zigzag between six buoys. This looks easy until you realize that speed decides the winner. In competition, the boat goes progressively faster and the rope is gradually shortened until your speed round a turn approaches 60 miles an hour. That makes the champion. Trick skiing is the second test. And here you must race against the clock in a series of turnarounds, side slides, and step overs of varying difficulty. You can gain extra points by crossing the wake in certain leaps, but you have to state in advance what you plan to do. Then you have 20 seconds in which to do it. All the while, judges rate you on style. Women do almost as well as men in this event, since strength does not mean as much as grace and timing. Barber shows some of the most difficult maneuvers, and in championship competition, all must be finished inside of 20 seconds. Jumping was first tried by Dick Polk, one of the sport's pioneers. But from this beginning, competition has come a long, long way. Barbara is the first girl in the world to jump more than 100 feet. The record distance for men is nearly 160 feet. Learning basic fundamentals is the foundation in building champions. From dry land pools to on the water instruction, this is one sport you can learn quickly. Balance is first. The pool must never catch you without your knees flexed. And you must keep your arms straight. Beginners tend to pull back on the rope and this makes their feet slide forward from under them. Today's teaching aids, like the trammel picket arm, make learning even easier. This device does several things. The instructor can sit right alongside to help you. He can draw in or pay out the line without any slack. And the beginner rides in still water away from the wake. Some people have weak knees or ankles or maybe one leg is stronger than the other. For perfect starts, the ski trainer bar locks the skis together. This teaches the beginner just how to adjust to those six-foot shoes as he goes from a dead stop to a planing position. The bar lifts easily as you begin to rise, and your problems are over once you get going. Finally, you take off like anyone else. You keep your knees flexed, your arms and back straight, and you look good enough to be in the movies. All the instructor can tell you now is always to wear a life jacket and always have two persons in the boat, one to look forward and one to watch you. For experts only, the ski craft is a new development. It can go up to 30 miles an hour and it automatically cuts off if you should fall. This one, driven by Don Saez, not only shows the small area in which it can maneuver, it also provides a look at the lovely waterways that run through and around Cypress Gardens. Of course, unlike the canals of Venice, these are one-way streets.
new gadgets constantly come into being. And all of them get a workout from prone position sleds to sitzmobiles. And double sitzmobiles. On the road, this looks like any other car, but the Amphi car is for the motorist who wants immediate water skiing when he spots the first likely pond, river, or lake. You don't have to look for or hire a boat. You're already driving one. And this is the only car in the world that can pick up hitchhikers who happen to have water skis on their feet. Skiing isn't only speed and daring, it has grace and beauty too. Any way you look at it, water skiing is a beautiful spectacle. It's reaching out to more and more people who have the water and the will to try it. These experts and eight million skiers round the world add up to Ski Boom.